Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Is this player worth it? Slash player review type video. EA has gone ahead and dropped Flashback Hunter Law. People may disagree with me with this. Make sure you do check out my previous video. It is on Leighton Baines, the flashback. And I've also got all reviews and if the player worth it on pretty much every single icon that has come out as an SBC throughout the year. But yeah, we're trying to hit 1,650 subscribers. We recently hit 1,600. I really appreciate the support. It means a lot. But anyway, boys, Hunter Law. People may disagree with this like they did disagree with yesterday. Baines, I didn't really think Baines deserved a flashback card, but... I can see why people do think he does, but pretty much, Hunter Law, I don't think he deserves a flashback card. Maybe he does. Let me know what you do think in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure not a lot of you are going to go ahead and complete this card because it's Hunter Law. Obviously, Castro isn't going to complete this card, which is hilarious because obviously everyone knows he hates him. But pretty much, as you can see, it's a decent card. I'm not going to lie, it's a very good card. I don't ever remember when Hunter Law was 89 rated on a FIFA before. I genuinely do not remember. But he's got 99 strength, 99 jumping, and 88 aggression, which are his key stats. Very, very good. Very important for the card. He's also got 90 heading accuracy, which is amazing as well. And then, taking a look at the problems here. We've got 74 acceleration, which is a problem. 72 agility, also a problem. And 68 stamina is a problem. I feel like in bad gameplay and on this game in general, this guy is going to feel like a slug on the ball. He's going to feel really, really bad. But he is going to finish chances for you. As you can see, 95 attack positioning, 91 finishing, 91 shot power, 83 long shots, 92 volleys. And he's got quite poor penalties, but that doesn't really matter. But overall, this card genuinely is amazing. For an 89 rated card, he is good. But... He's got poor stats that let the overall card down. For example, with Ibra, he doesn't have that. He's actually got a great overall card and he does fit the meta of the game. But pretty much, Hunter Law, personally in my opinion, he won't fit the meta whatsoever. But let me know what you do think in the comment section down below. That would be much appreciated. But yeah, also, are you going to complete this SBC? Let me know. Maybe a lot of you are fans... Um, of Holland of course, Dutch, you may all be Dutch, I know I have a lot of Dutch viewers and you may love Hunt a lot and you may want to complete him simply because of that or maybe you're running a, a, a Dutch team anyway on the game and you just, this guy fits perfectly for your team or you're doing a first owner squad and you've got a Dutch player but overall, I'm not going to lie, it's probably worth it, I've not looked at the requirements but looking at this already 284 rated squads which is minimum in my opinion, I think it's like 40 50k around that mark, not even that but you just need a Schalke player of course so obviously you're going to start the squad off with the highest rated Schalke player you can possibly get pretty much, but we are going to look for a Schalke player I'm pretty sure Naldo, yeah, he's from Schalke. But I would go ahead and get yourself Farman, the 83 on non-rare. He is going to rise in price, though, so make sure you do go ahead and pick it up very, very quickly. But, yeah, just throw that Farman into your squad. And pretty much he's 83 rated. So from there to get 84 rated squad on this one, it will be fairly simple. If you don't know how to do it, make sure you do check football now. That's the best thing to do. But 80 chemistry and you just need an 84 rated squad. So I'm pretty sure that one costs about 40k. Probably not even that. If you do have untradables already, a lot of you probably will be able to do these SBCs for pretty much free. But then here as well, you need a Netherlands player. Any Netherlands player literally on the game. Um, so just go ahead and look for one of the higher rated Netherlands players that you do have in your club. For example, you may have like a Strootman, someone like that. Or you may even have Robin. Robin would be a great one as he's 85 rated. So it will boost the rating up massively. There's no informs required either. So it's fairly cheap. You could go ahead and throw Strootman in, like I said. And then just build a squad from there. 284 rated squad. You get a prime gold players pack for that. And you also get a 35k pack for that. So you're getting 80,000 coins worth of value in return. And pretty much you're getting this card Hunter Law, who could be a great guy to come on off the bench, definitely will be, but medium, medium is a problem as well, that's more of a cam position, you need high medium on the striker, but I don't think it will affect him that much, but it definitely is a slight issue on the card, 6 foot 1 is great, right footed also doesn't really matter, but it's great, 4 star weak foot, very very good, It is. there's no problems with that, but then of course, a 2 star skill move, so like I've already said, this guy isn't going to feel great on the ball, he's got 86 ball control and 77 dribbling, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong whatsoever, he's got 77 balance, which is great, but his agility is low, his acceleration is low, and his stamina is also low, so you're going to struggle with this guy, he's better off to come on at half time maybe, to 
to have have him up front as a target man. The crossing is very overpowered in this new update, so you never know. It does work very very well. But pretty much, it's gonna you're gonna get eighty thousand worth of packs in return, and in my opinion, you're gonna spend around eighty thousand on the card itself. So you may get lucky and pack yourself a headliners card, something like that. But you never know. You may get lucky, so it is worth it. This SPC one hundred percent is worthwhile completing because you get an eighty nine rated flashback card, six foot one. Yeah, very good card for 80k, but I hope you did enjoy, boys. I'm going to quickly show you my weekend league record. I've been playing games. I did just bottle a game a minute ago. I lost on penalties, and I dominated the game. I did put it on Twitter, but I'm currently 19 to 3. Drop a comment down below. What are your records? I'm interested to hear. That's going to be it for my weekend league gameplay on the channel. I simply don't enjoy this game anymore. I'm 19 and 3, but I just don't want to play FIFA anymore. I'm fed up with it. I just I don't enjoy FIFA anymore. But pretty much, yeah, let me know what your records are down below. I really hope this video did help you out. And if it did, you know what to do, boys. Drop a like on it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. But pretty much, it's been a video on Hunter Lart and whether he's worth it. And the answer to that question is he's 100% worth it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, boys. That's been it. Peace out.